Now this is an ultrasound study of a primary clavula with uh, intrauterine pregnancy of uh, approximately 17 weeks, 5 right to diameter 3.47 centimeters corresponding to the gestational age of 16 uh, weeks, 5 days, female length uh, measures 2.47 centimeter corresponding to the gestational age of 17 weeks, 3 days, placenta you can see is for free or this is the placenta and it is for free or placenta. This, this band of people is the placenta. Now it's uh, much about the os and uh, this is the cervix. Okay, the cervix is in length 43 millimeter, which is normal, and this is the plug that you see within the cervical canal in uh, pregnancies. So the and the os is closed by this uh, echogenic area, the plug, and uh, the uh, placenta is much about this uh, os. So placenta is for zero although fine but and is grade two. Uh, it, is, it is grade two. This is the head of the fetus. This is the head of the fetus. Cranium is okay. Cavum septum pedicidum is seen and the choroid plexus is also seen. This is the choroid plexus in this side. Okay. Now these are the eyes. <coughs> the eye and the distance layered from eye is 22 millimeters. This is the fetal chest and the vertebra, both taken together. And you can see the cardiac activity. This is the cardiac activity. Forex is normal, cardiac activity is normal, keeping in view the age of the gestation. So what we see is that uh, the cardiac activity ranges between uh, <coughs> one, 150 to 155 beats per minute with regular variation. We don't see any pathology relating to the heart of the fetus. This is the vertebral column. This is the vertebral column. This is the neck region, so there is no pathology seen relating to the uh, neck region, nor we do see any pathology relating to the chest. You can see the movement of the fetus. This is the hand, and see the movement.
this is the fever. And now what you see it's like the pathology within this uh, fetus is that the, the amount of fluid, amniotic fluid is too less as compared, uh, as it should be in the gestational age uh, at, this, at this age. So there is uh, oligohydramniols. As uh, you can see that the amount of fluid, amniotic fluid is too less and the largest amniotic fluid cavity without umbilical cord may yield only eighteen millimeters, which is much less compared to the expected norm. Now when we uh, move towards the abdomen we see two cystic areas extending from midline cystic areas extending from the uh, thin wall internally clear which extends from the pelvis up to the diaphragm of uh, this is this is the cystic area this is a midline cystic area extending from the from the pelvis uh, uh, to the diaphragm of the uh, fetus with bowels are not seen and this is measured 22 into uh, 22 by 20 millimeters as uh, internally clear of any uh, calcification equals septa or any solid element. So this is one cyst, this is the another one. This is the another cystic structure. And the on the right side of the fetal abdomen. Whereas we do not uh, see the The liver is not visualized. The bowels are not seen. So the differential of this cyst will be, will be very large. It can be a polytopal cyst. It can be an ovarian cyst. It, it, it can be a mesenteric cyst. It can be a retroperitoneal cyst. This is the pathology in this uh, 17 weeks prime gravida with oligopotentials. Normal head skeleton is normal. Fetal movements are seen. Cardiac activity is with uh, uh, a normal patient is anxious. So okay, it's not unusual to see the cardiac activity of the fetus uh, going uh, also increasing as the uh, mother's anxiety increases as she understands what I am saying, what I she is following me and uh, this is the nuchal tract, this is the nuchal, for the nuchal transparency it may is 1.8 uh, millimeters, this is normal, no evidence of Down syndrome on sonography. So this is the case of the day uh, with multiple questions that will rise in your mind. This is the kidney which is normal. Kidneys are normal. However, the stomach bubble is not seen and this can be a double bubble sign as well. 
of pyloric stenosis. So go on expanding the differential. But at present time of ultrasound, the fetus is alive. This is the cardiac heart of the patient of the fetus. Our patient at present time of ultrasound. And you can see the variation and the heart beats. Again, the cystic areas within the abdomen, extending up to the diaphragm as uh, the chest. This is the chest, this is normal. And here we come across the abdomen. With, yeah, a liver is seen. This is the liver. This is the liver. This is the cystic area, this is the cystic area. Two cystic areas are quite, this can be a gallbladder, but if this is a gallbladder, then most probably it will be a polydocal cyst. But if this is a polydocal cyst, then what? Which cyst is this? This one, what is this cyst? However, one thing is for sure that bowels are not seen and uh, There is oligohydramnios. This is the fluid, the only fluid that is seen. The question is, where is the umbilical cord? In such cases, it becomes difficult at times when you don't see, uh, when you see very little amniotic fluid. Now this is the uh, somewhat transverse of the abdomen. This is transverse of the abdomen. And this is the head. Transverse of the abdomen, cystic area, the placenta, and here you see the umbilical cord. This can be can this be a cyst relating to the umbilical cord? This is the umbilical cord. So this is a very difficult case down, uh, uh, for, uh, so far as uh, abdominal ultrasound is concerned, needs a uh, high level or uh, an ultrasound by 3D or 4D. This is a two-dimensional ultrasound. Where are the bowels? No bowels are seen. The placenta is grade 2. As you can see, the placental legs, the coarseness of the placental substance, and the chorionic plate is 
The gender of the fetus cannot be determined by at this age by 3.5 megahertz probe transabdominal approach. So this is our case study of uh, the day. I will see that this cyst in fact is extending from the uh, right side of the upper abdomen and then filling all of the abdominal cavity. Yeah, you see. Thank you.